hello and welcome to quickkitty.com in this tutorial video we are going to learn about the linear regression theory so linear regression is a statistical method linear regression is a statistical method to find the relationship between independent and dependent variables So to understand the theory, I am going to use some data. Okay, the data is the data basically tells the number of hours studied by a student and the marks he scored in the exam. Okay, so in this table, the hours is an independent variable. And marks is a dependent variable. Why is hours called as independent variable? It's because we cannot mathematically determine the factors, the number of the number of hours that a student spends for the exam. But if we look at the data, we can see a trend here. As the number of hours spent by a student increases, the marks scored by him will increase. So that is why marks is a dependent variable because it depends on the number of hours spent by the student. Let's assume we do not have the independent variable. Okay. So for some reason we have not collected the independent variable, the number of hours studied by a student and we only have the dependent variable. Okay. So only using this dependent variable, we are asked to represent this data, okay, to represent this data so that we can predict the marks for other students. So the best thing we can do is a fit a line whose value is equal to average. So what is the average? Average is given by all sum of all the data. 35 plus 50 plus 45 plus 64 plus 66 plus 70 divided by the total number of data points which is 1 2 3 4 5 6 so the average is equal to 55 okay so we have just plotted a constant line whose value is equal to average so the reason we have done this is because we want to compare this line we want to compare this line with the regression line we are going to do in the next section okay we want to compare these two lines and check how well we are performing so the measure or the metric which is used to compare these two lines is called sum of squared errors How do you calculate sum of squared errors? So first thing we are going to calculate the error. The error is given by the difference between the data point or the actual value and the predicted value. In this case pre predicted value is 55 for all the data points. So the difference is 35 minus 55 which is minus 20 in a similar way the difference is minus 5 45 minus 55 is minus 10 64 minus 55 is plus 9 66 minus 55 is plus 11 and lastly we have plus 15 next thing is we are going to find the square of this error okay it's basically the square so error square is given by minus 20 whole square is 400 so similar way we are going to find out 
the square of all of all the differences of all the errors so this is how the values will be so the next thing is finding the sum of squared error sum of squared error is simply the addition of all the squared errors which is nothing but 952 so our sum of squared errors is 952 we are going to use this value and using the sum of squared errors for linear regression line we are going to compare these two values and check how well we have performed so let's calculate the sum of squared error by doing the linear regression so the linear regression uses a form of line called as slope intercept which is given by y is equal to mx plus b here x is our independent variable y is our dependent variable m is the slope and b is intercept so what is a slope let's assume this is our line this is a line slope defines the defines how steep a line is for example if there are two lines line 2 is steeper than line 1 so the slope of line 2 will be greater than line 1 so what is intercept intercept is a is a point where the line crosses y axis okay so this value is called as intercept so the very idea of linear regression is to find the best combination of slope and intercept which minimizes the sum of squared error okay one of the method which is used to calculate the slope and intercept is ordinary least squared method this is one of the method so let's so we know that a line is uh, represented in slope intercept form as y is equal to mx plus b in ordinary least squared method the formula for slope is given by m is equal to sigma xi minus x bar y minus y bar divided by sigma xi minus x bar the whole square here xi is our independent variable and x bar is the average of our independent variable data yi is our dependent variable and y bar is the average of our dependent variable data So let's just calculate the slope and intercept. So the first term x sub i minus x bar is given by x i minus x bar which is nothing but this minus uh, the average is 5.5. which is equal to minus 2.5 so next thing is 4 minus 5.5 which is minus 1.5 similarly we are going to calculate for other values then y sub i minus y bar is given by marks minus the average minus 55 which is minus 20 so 50 minus 55 is minus 5 
and then the next term this above term is calculated by just multiplying these two terms okay and the below term is simply squaring this value so we have the numerator 121 and the denominator as 17.5 so the slope is calculated by 121 divided by 7.5 which is nothing but 6.914 so this is our m and our intercept is given by b is equal to y bar minus m into x x bar sorry so we know that y bar is 55 so b is equal to 55 minus or m is 6.914 which is 6.914 into x bar is 5.5 so if we just calculate this b will be equal to 16.973 so we have our slope and our intercept so we can represent our line as y is equal to slope which is 6.914 mx plus b which is 16.973 y is equal to mx plus b so if we plot our line if we plot our equation okay as a line it should look something similar like this so you can use an excel or any other graphing tool to plot this line so this is our line y is equal to 6.914x plus 16.973 so the slope this is the slope 6.914 and our intercept this value is called our intercept Okay. Now let's calculate the sum of squared errors for this line. Okay. So here is the calculation. The actual value, this is the actual value, this is the predicted value. Predicted value, we can just put the x in this place no, and calculate the predicted value. So you can see that the actual and predict, predicted value they they are almost same. Okay, so the error is given by actual minus predicted. Okay, thirty five minus thirty seven point six seven two. Similarly, fifty minus forty four point five eight six. Similarly, you calculate for other data points, and then you square it to get the squared error. So if we look at the sum of squared error, it is 115.3. So for our constant line, the sum of squared error was 952. So for constant line, sum of squared error was 952. And for our regression line, the sum of squared error is 115.3 so we have done a pretty good job in fitting the line through our data points so this line represents our data well so this should be the end of this video if you have any comments if you have any questions please leave a comment below